Oh my god! Oh, holy shit. It's over. Dear fucking Christ, it's over. Oh, it took me... Yeah, it took me a long ass time, and that last level... ...was so difficult that it made me so angry... ...that I gave myself a migraine. But I did it now. I actually completed this fucking game. This has always been that hard fucking game that I always remember when I think back to my childhood and games that were just difficult. And I did it. And again, the one sentiment that I got out of all of this was that I am so happy that I didn't get this far as a child. I never have been able to do that. And it would have been a piece of shit. Fuck this game. That's kind of my ending sentiments. It's... It's very difficult. It doesn't look that difficult. I've been told by plenty of people while they were watching the actual videos. It doesn't look that hard. But... The D-pad, shitty camera angles, and... A very simple but crappy combat system. Makes this game a lot harder than it needs to be. But it is the PS1. So, really, can I even complain about that? <laughs> that's a good side-by-side -side portrait, but again, that thing looks nothing like what I just killed. I mean, look at it. Plus, it's not face-palming in that picture. That guy should. <laughs> oh, that makes me smile. That laugh reminds me of Triller. What a great image. To sum this game up on. Just some guy's douchey smile. I have no idea what I'm going to do about the audio I just recorded. I'd almost go back over and redo it. Like do a voiceover, not redo the level, fuck that. But I feel like what I set out to do was to give the most genuine, I guess, let's plays. Like, no looking ahead of time, none of that shit. No test runs that involve half the game. Um, no voiceovers and stuff like that. So, I guess I'm just going to do my usual thing with this audio, which is attempt to clean it up a little bit, and then just put it out there. Edit everything together, get it all done and dusted, and have it ready. Oh, I don't even know what else to say about this game. Overall, I think I did a pretty decent job entertaining people, like in terms of my commentaries and stuff. I feel I did okay. There was very few sessions where I went away from it and thought that was shit. There was very few sessions that I walked away from and was not happy with at least the audio. Not being happy with how I played the game was a constant thing, but that's kind of it and those credits were really short. But the things that make this game difficult, besides having to use the D-pad for a lot of angled jumps, was the fact that sometimes you'd press a button and it just would not happen. That last level was bullshit beyond belief. The longest level in the game, the hardest level in the game, and it was topped off by two bosses. That was horrible. And the boss before that last one... I think was harder, because I could never fucking hit him for some reason. That's another thing that made the game difficult. The very precise fucking hitboxes uh, some of the enemies have. And there was no need for it. The fact that you pretty much have to have played this game before is another thing. 
you have to know which way to go. Like, where the secrets are for certain situations, especially in that last level. And for pathways to know, I need to go here to get this key, to go back this way and do this. And avoid going through horrendous traps a hundred times over. It just pisses me off that I was this close the last time I recorded and I died on that really stupid little glitchy part with the elevator and that fucking crushing thing that's the part that took my remaining lives and that was complete and utter bullshit it should never have happened that way But the game is over, I guess, which is what I can be thankful for, and I, I hate the audio that went along with this because it was quiet, it was muted, it was tired, and it didn't make much sense. It just... <laughs> I feel like I rambled, swore, and growled my way through the first boss, and with the second one, even now I'm starting to think of jokes I go thrown in. It's just at the time when you're trying to focus, they really don't come to you. What else? Yeah, multiple playthroughs, because you need a weapon. For many points in this game, you need a fucking weapon to make it... to make it somewhat manageable. And you need to know where they are. And in that last level, there was that special little part where you pretty much needed invincibility to activate the pressure plates, and... It just didn't happen. Like, if you didn't spot that secret, you were fucked. I mean, I'm sure there's a way of doing it, but you're gonna get hit. And your health drains really fast in that level. To everything. Especially those cheap as fuck. It's... After so many years of thinking back on this game, it feels good to really finally definitively get it out of the way and to be able to say I beat this game. But at the same time I didn't really get anything out of it and most of this game was just torturous. The nostalgia value wore off very, very, very quickly. So a lot of it was just needlessly torturing myself, I guess. But, I'm pausing a shit ton here just because I'm trying to think, because I had a lot to say at this point in the game. I just, it, it's all gone on my mind, I can barely speak right now, apparently. But, hey, that was Ninja. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time for whatever I play next. Because after this shit, I'm looking forward to playing something fun for a while. <laughs>